Hey guys, how's it going? Super excited to do a mini band workout with you today. So we're gonna actually use an extra light mini band. We're gonna play with how using light resistance can still be super challenging, which the same is true if you use Pilates equipment like a reformer or a Cadillac. Sometimes a lighter spring can be much harder, even though that's kind of like confusing, right? You would think heavier always equals harder, but today we'll prove that wrong. So grab your lightest band that you have. It's going to be a lot of chest and shoulder opening, and it's going to be an advanced routine. So let's get to it. You can always modify by putting a pad underneath your knees. So we're going to start with the band around our wrists. We're going to have nice long fingers. I want you to find tension on the band. Protract those shoulders and then drop them down. Pull the rib cage in tilt the tailbone to the heels, and then reach your arms overhead. We're going for a kneeling roll up. Your goal is to not let your butt sit back on your heels, but rather press your pelvis forward and keep it stacked over your knees. So as you exhale, you're going to lift up an inch taller, start to curl forward, kick your toenails down, dive down, you're reaching for the floor, press your hips forward, try to touch the mat as you pull your waist up, and then roll up, belly in, grow through the front line of the body, and reach the arms up to the ceiling. It's not easy. It's kind of hard to balance. So we're gonna inhale, lift up, sink the shoulders. Good, dive over a barrel. So you're lifting up through your core. You're not trying to touch the floor with your abs. And then pull in through the center of the belly. Roll up, restack. Reach up through the fingertips, anchor down through the shoulders and the rib cage. Exhale, dive up and over. Pull those abs to your upper back. Reach down with the arms, lift up through the spine. And then press the pelvis forward. I'm squeezing my glutes really tightly. Roll up, restack. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop, C curve. Ribs in and up. Reach down, toes to the floor and then roll up and restack. Good, now as you can see, it's really challenging to keep those hips right over those knees. Engage from your glutes, curl through the pelvis, dive up and over, and then roll up, press the hips forward, try to keep them over the knees, and breathe in. We'll take it to saw. Arms right at chest tight, tension on the band. Exhale, twist yourself to the left without your right hip coming with you. Dive up and over again, ribs to the ceiling. Reach the fingers to the floor, the abs to the back. Good, D, scoop, and D, rotate. Exhale, twist right. Lift up through the core to dive down. Try to touch the floor with your fingertips and touch the sky with your abs. Good, unscoop and untwist. We'll pick it up, rotate left, pelvis doesn't move. Dive up and over, abs in and up. Good, undive and unwind. Try to keep those shoulders anchored. So yes, we're spreading the back muscles apart, but we wanna keep the shoulders off of the neck. Good, this should feel pretty good opening up that spine. Scoop, 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 scoop. Lift, unwind. Good, or three more, rotate. Pull in and up through the abs, touch down with the fingers. Lift up and unwind. Last two. You're thinking of spreading your upper back apart and creating a C curve in your spine. Final one, rotate. Dive, lift through the core. Good, undive and unrotate. Spine stretch, we're gonna place the band now around the fingers, thumb is loose, arms up, shoulders drop down. Bend the elbows and find resistance on the band. Now imagine the band is a wall and push your head into it. So we're creating the natural curve in the neck, right? We're getting rid of that forward tilt. Really good for the posture, try to keep it there the whole time. Exhale to rotate to your left. Pulse for three, two, one, inhale, center. Exhale, rotate right. Twist further, further, further. Hips are isolated. As you rotate, three exhales, three, two, one. Inhale, center. 
As we just twist the direction you're twisting, press that elbow back in space. Good, twice more. Rotate three, two, one. Inhale, center, corset those abs. Pulse three, two, one. Center, drop the shoulders, find that length again in the neck. Rotating to the left. Hinge back and extend the arms on the diagonal. Bend the elbows, come back to kneeling, and untwist. Twist right, hinge, lengthen. Return, bend the elbows. There's always tension on that band. When I lengthen, my fingers are reaching out, but the tops of my arms are pulling in. Center, turn. When I hinge, I'm in a flat back. So the shape of my upper body has not changed. It's just on a different angle. Lean into it, stretch, return, center. Three more, twist. Wide through the elbows and the collarbone. Try to keep it nice and slow when you're in that hinge, right? That's gonna help create the work in the abs. Final one. Watch those upper traps, sink them down. Reach, hold, smile. Then the elbows, return. Good, okay. We're gonna bring the band back around the wrists. Long fingers. Thigh stretch with spine stretch. So I want you to pay attention to your lower back. No sticking your butt out. So tuck the pelvis, energy from the tailbone down to the knees, find tension on that band. You're gonna hinge back to your furthest point. So maybe it's only an inch back, maybe you're more advanced, you come back here. Now my lower half, my pelvis, is gonna stay in thigh stretch. Just my spine will move into spine stretch. So I'm gonna round forward, pull the man apart and pull my ribs back. Inhale, open the chest up, lift the heart through the band. Exhale, round, rib cage in. Shoulders spread wide. Inhale, lengthen out, get longer, hinge back, chest to the ceiling. Hello core, and thighs, exhale, round. Inhale, stretch. Maybe go a little further for the last three. Round. Widen the spine. Pull that band apart. And then pull the band apart even more to lift the chest through it. And two. Thighs are firing. Breathe in and open that heart. Last one. We round. Expand and return. And that was the warm up. Okay guys, we're gonna take it down. So a lot of my inspiration today was the Cadillac exercises, the Cadillac repertoire. So we're gonna pretend like the band is the push through bar for a little bit. Have your legs as wide as the mat, band around the wrists, tension on that band, shoulders down. The push through bar is your, on your fingertips and your brain, right? Push it up and find as much length through you as you can up the shoulders down and reach the heels away from you. Hamstring stretch. Lift up taller through that spine. Hinge back, flat back as long as you can. Scoop, roll, belly in, take it down, inhale. Exhale, peel up, folding into it, and then lengthen on the diagonal. So opposed to our roll up, we're not C curving here. We're going flat spine and hinging forward. Just like in thigh stretch, but except for backwards, we're going forwards. And then lean back, we're long. Chest through the arms, arms back. Scoop and roll. Inhale. Exhale, peel up. And then lengthen into it. Send the push through bar up to the ceiling. Pull the rib cage in, root the tailbone down. Sit up tall, chest over heart. And then hinging back and curling down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, pull the ribs to the mat. Roll up and send the fingertips to the sky. Find that stretch in the back and in the hamstrings. Thighs are engaged. Tall chest. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Wait for it and then scoop and roll. Two more. Inhale and breathe out. Let the exhale guide you up. Stretch through the arms, pull in through the shoulders, and press out into that resistance. Sit up tall, lean back, 
and then scoop and roll, let it shake. Final one. We're peeling up, corset the belly. Lift up and into it. Expand. Sit tall, hinge, and roll. Very nice, okay. We're gonna add on and take this to a teaser roll up. Yes, I hear excitement. Let's bring the legs together. Inhale, arms reach back. Now as I start to roll up, my legs will lift to either tabletop or straight up, so you choose. Exhale, press the spine towards the floor, peel up, pull the legs up. I'll show tabletop first. We're gonna reach the arms up, palms face forward. Tension on the band, bend the elbows wide and lift. Wide and lift. Last one, pull wide, lift. Tap the feet to the floor for three. Lifting back up by exhaling, pulling from the abdominal muscles. Last one. Stretch the legs and arms apart. Peel it down. I'm going to show the advanced option. Inhale. Exhale, roll up. Straight legs pull you up. Woo! Palms turn forward. Tension on the band. Bend the elbows wide and reach. This is our shaving in our front rowing. Good. Lengthen that chin away from the chest. Now arms up, legs go down and up for three. <sighs> Let me hear that breath through the TV. Exhale. Last one, hold the lift. Now stretch your toes and fingertips apart and curl down. Inhale, exhale, peel it up, legs up. Lift the spine, turn the palms forward, drop the shoulders. The band should graze the head. The shoulders are pulling away from the hands on the extension. Give me an inch more li lift of height. Legs up and down, three. Two. One, hold the lift. Stretch the body apart and roll it down. Amazing. Okay, so it's time for hundreds. Band around the wrists again. Legs are gonna come up to tabletop. Okay, drop those shoulders down, bolt those knees and inner thighs together. Curl up, press the band onto the thighs, find that tension, and start to pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. So here's the series. As you inhale, press the hands down. As you exhale, kick the shins up. So here we go, inhale, pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, pump the shins. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You've got it. Look at your belly, pull it into the body. Pump for the, on the inhale with the arms and press up through the shins on the exhale. Try to keep those knees tight. Two more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set. Breathe it out. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold the lift. Little circles with the arms. I want you to anchor those shoulders and pull your lats down off of your neck. Give me four, three, two, one, reverse, lift into it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Press the shins into the band as much as you're pulling it down. Last three, two, one. Wow, I would say the core is awake. So we're gonna do our snow angel, which is commonly found on the reformer. Legs can be bent to modify, otherwise we're gonna go straight up and or to 45 to advance. So we're gonna take an inhale, curl up. Palms face each other, band around the wrist. We're gonna pull apart, belly in, return, and release. Curl up, extend. We're gonna stay out this time. Open, close, open, close. Fingertips and toes reaching forward, abdominals pulling back into the body for five, four, Three, two, one. Pull it in. Good work, Rick. Rest that neck, roll it out. 
So our next is coordination. Band will stay around the wrist, legs in tabletop, elbows by the waist. Roll the front of the shoulder off the chest. You can always keep your head down for this. So the breathing is really what we're training in this exercise. So let's try to get it right. <laughs> Trying. So here we go. We're going to inhale, lift up, reach everything long. Exhale, open the arms and legs. Inhale, close the arms and legs. Two part exhale, slow. Exhale, knees, press into the band. Exhale, elbows, head down. We go inhale, reach everything long. Open, exhale. Inhale, close. Exhale, knees, press into the band, low belly. Exhale, elbows, and we're down. Inhale, reach. Exhale, legs and arms open. Close the legs, pull the legs in, exhale, bend the elbows, exhale. So let's pick it up. We go inhale, lift, exhale, open, inhale, close, exhale, knees, exhale, arms. Curl up, open, close, bend, bend. Three more, lift, open, Return, hug to the midline, knees, elbows, last two. Pull that rib cage to the mat. Final one, we're up and stretching forward. Pull, return, bend the knees, push into that band, bend the elbows, take it down, really nice. We're gonna roll it up and we're gonna come into another teaser. So, for this first one, the band is gonna go around the right foot. Right hand will have the band. You can have your legs up in tabletop. You can have a hand on the floor for extra support. You can bring that left arm straight up to make it harder. You can straighten the legs to make it harder. We're gonna go wide row with the right arm. The wrist face the floor. The elbow goes wide to the side, slightly below the line of the shoulder. Now what we're challenging is our left oblique. When we pull this tension out to the right, it's going to want to throw us over to the right. So we're going to keep that left hip down. We're going to lift up and go taller through the spine. And let's do 10. We're here. 10, 9, 8. Think tall thoughts. 7. Like you're trying to look over a really tall person at the movie theater. And 5, 4, 3, 2, one, release to the left. So band around the foot. You could always keep a foot down. If it's too hard, no problem. Hand down, tabletop, arms up. So tons of options. Lift up through your heart. Left wrist faces the floor. You're gonna pull the band back, squeeze the shoulder blade in and release. Good, now your middle back is where we start to dump. Yeah, if you're here, bend your knees so you can get taller. Yeah, that's actually cheating by doing this. I'd rather you even put your foot down, you know? Do what you need to do. Okay, we're here for 10, nine, eight, lifting up, seven, six, gaze up and over those toes. Nice work. Last four, three, two, one, release. Band is gonna go around the feet. Around the feet themselves, so not the legs. We're around the arches. And let's curl it down. Let's take it to the floor. Okay, hands behind the head. You can always keep your head down too. Legs in tabletop. We're gonna curl up. Extend the legs to 45, modify by going higher. Tension on the band at all times. Twist to the left, you're gonna stay twisted. From your belly, you're going to pull your left leg in. So watch your belly drop into the body and then stretch it back out. Exhale, belly down and release. So it's not about your leg doing this. That's why we're staying light tension. It's about the abs doing it. So I need you to focus on where the work is coming from. Now see if you can lift your left shoulder blade up too. So we're not like this, yeah? We're not leaning on our left arm. Both arms are up and we're turning from the waist. Here we go, let's go for eight. Good, lift up through that chest. 
Give me an audible exhale. And last four. And three. Two. And one. Take a quick rest for the neck. And we're gonna do it on the other side. So, hands behind the head. Legs are gonna extend out to 45. Turn now to the other side and lift up off of the right shoulder blade. Pull the right knee in and extend and see your low belly sink into the floor. So remember, we're not here, yeah? We're not leaning over onto the arm we're twisting towards. We want that shoulder blade to be up too. So maybe it's not as much of a twist if you can't keep that side up. Good, curl up into it. We're gonna go for six and five. Super strong. Four, three, pull it in, two, one, and release. Amazing. So the strap's gonna stay around the left foot and the right leg is gonna go through it so it's around the shin. So left arch, right shin. You're gonna stand on your left foot and extend your right leg off of the mat at a really low angle. So it's just hovering. And your left foot is parallel in line with your hip. Arms on the mat. As you lift your hips up, you're gonna open your right leg to the side. So we're gonna go up and open, back and return. And up, pull tension on the band with the right leg, and then return. Now this is gonna pull on your left leg. So you're gonna stabilize by not letting that knee go anywhere. We're up and open and down and return. We're working the outside of the right hip. And I also want you to be careful to not turn your hips to the right. So your hips face up. Exhale up, inhale down. Nice job. We're in a flat, neutral spine. So the bridge is where you do not change the shape of the back you simply lift the hips up and set them right back down. Good, give me three more. We have three. And two. Last one, we're gonna stay up there. Keep the right leg wide, give me little circles. Stabilize with your hips. Push that left foot down. Five, four, three, two, one, reverse, 10, nine, hips up, seven, right hip high, four, three, two, one, draw it in and lower it down. Good work, so definitely a lot of pelvic stability and obliques for sure. So now it's around the right arch of the foot and gonna go over that left shin. Right heel, really close to your bum, right underneath the knee. Left leg's gonna extend out to that low diagonal. We're in our bridge, so we have that natural curve in the low back. Chest is open, we're gonna go up, open the left leg, and then lower, and pull it in at the same time. So it's a seamless movement, rather than two parts. So we're not going up, then open, we're going up and open together. Have your left knee face the ceiling the whole time. We don't wanna turn that leg out. Now the wider you take the leg, the more challenging it's gonna be on the outer left hip, on the pelvis. But you don't wanna to graduate to something more challenging until you can do something that's more simple for risk of injury or really risk of not getting the work out of the exercise. Making something harder and not being ready for it isn't really necessarily a good thing. But take a little glance at those hips, make sure that both of the bony parts point up. And let's go for five. And four. Nice work. Three. Up in two. Staying lifted on one, hold the tension out to the side with the left leg. Little circles. Ten each way. Good, you wanna keep the leg wide the whole time. Five. Four, three, two, and then reverse it for me for 10, nine, eight, seven, push that right foot into the ground, five, four, three, 
two, one, pull it in, return. Amazing work. So we're gonna rock it up, and the band is now going to be around your legs. Not too high though, I'd say like right at the calf level. And we're gonna lay on our belly for a double leg kick. So we're getting into extension now. This is where we lift the chest up from a prone position. So let's go legs long behind us, toes and knees turned out, tension on the band, yeah, the whole time. Turn your right cheek to the ground, interlace your hands in the small of your back, right where it dips down. As you breathe in, you're going to inhale, lift your chest up, look forward, and then exhale, turn your head the other way. At the bottom, you're gonna kick your heels in towards your butt three times. One, two, three. As you go to lengthen, you're gonna inhale, look forward. Pull the heart forward, pull the tailbone back. Exhale, turn the head, bend the elbows, kick in. One, two, three. Reach into the band, stretch through the chest. Turn the head to the right. Squeeze the hamstrings. Inhale, up and center. And turn the head lower down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, thighs up, chest up. And turn twice more. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Reach, extend, pull into the band. And lower, last one, three, two, one. Reach, hold, lift the thighs. Press the pelvis down, no space between your pubic bone and the ground. And release, amazing. So press yourself on up to kneeling. Now the band's gonna come up a little bit higher. So I just want you to bring it right above your knees on your thighs. Good, okay, we're gonna do our side kicks with this. You need something for your knees, just place something underneath your knees. Okay, important thing, look at this from the side, is I don't want this at all. Ribs in, neutral spine. So we're not here, and we're not here, and we're not here, right? So just a natural, tall, flat back. That might be a challenge for you, and that's okay. So this is why we're working on it. Okay, so we're kneeling. We're gonna take our left hand over to the left. Push out of it. I want you on your fingertips or a block. And then reach your right leg to the side. Reach your left arm up, or your right arm up. On your inhale, you're going to lift your leg up and lower your arm down. Kneecap points forward. On your exhale, you're gonna stretch and lengthen from your fingertips to your right toes. Good, we're lifting, pull up into the band, and then lowering. Now one thing I want you to think about here is we're somewhat in a side plank. So I want you to think of all your plank qualities, right, like not dumping down to the floor. So I don't wanna see that. I don't want to see teeter-totter at all either. So there's a lot of stability happening in your hips. So we're up, squeeze the outer hip, knee forward, and lengthen, stretch through the ribs. And we're here for five. Good, hug that bottom hip in. Should stack right over the knee. And three. Looking good. For two. We're holding it up on one. Reach, pull it in. Turn your palm back, like chest extension. Press your palm back, squeeze your right lat in, release. Now as you press back, we're gonna drift forward with the leg and pull everything back to the midline. Arm presses back, leg goes forward. Now it's pretty small with the leg because I don't want you to drop it down like that. I want the leg to stay hip height or your height, as high as you can keep it. Good, we're here, five. Four. Remember, it's control over quantity. Two. Last one. Come to center. Circle up, back and around ten. Hold on to it. Let it shake. Last one. Reverse. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, try to stay parallel. Five, four, lift it up. Three, two, one. Ho! Oh, got the shakes at the end. We're gonna take it over to the other side. So, right hand underneath the right shoulder. 
I want you to lift and lengthen off of the hand and not lean down into it. And then reach your left out, leg out to the left, knee forward, right hip over the right knee. At the bottom, you're gonna find the stretch. And then at the top, you're gonna lower the arm and find the work in the side of the hip. Inhale, lengthen your top side apart from each other. Exhale, lift up and squeeze your outer hip. These done slower are much more effective than moving very quick. So all I'm asking you to do is just try to do it a little differently than you're used to and see, maybe you're more sore tomorrow, maybe you're seeing some results a little quicker. Ooh, second side, it's definitely harder. And this is even my stronger leg. Let's go for five. But hey, that's how we get even stronger. Four. Gotta keep that neck long. If it's going into your neck, look down. Three. Exhale up. Inhale down. Final one. We're gonna hold the left. Turn the left palm back. Press back through the palm. As the palm presses back, the leg drifts forward. We're gonna try to stay hip height. We're here for five. But push off of your supporting hand. Three, two, one. I'm shaking like crazy, we got circles. Lift and lift, let's hang on to it together. Four, three, two, rubbers. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, my form was definitely struggling on that side. That was hard for me. That was hard for me. Okay, so let's take the band off. And we're gonna move into swan, like we would on the Cadillac. So let's place it around the wrists, along free fingers. Now this is a pretty big extension exercise if you're not ready for it. Maybe do some cobras or cat cows. And then eventually maybe try one. It's definitely a big shoulder opener. So don't do it if it doesn't feel right. Legs long, neutral, kneecaps to the floor. Important that the pelvis does not go up and down, right? Pelvis stays on the floor. That's gonna protect the low back. Reach the arms overhead. Palms face to the ground. Let's take the head down. The first thing you'll do is lift the arms. Then pull into the band and pull the elbows back. Pubic bone into the ground, chest lifts. Extend the arms up, press the hands down and lift the chest. This is the nice part. Then you're gonna slide back out, lower the belly. Arms lift, retract the shoulders, pull back. Chest lifts, extend, reach for it. Palms down, lift up, take a stretch, and slide into it. Arms up, band apart, drag it back from your upper back muscles. Lift up, more from the chest, left from the head, reach. Lower, lift more for the stretch, and release. Notice how when I'm stretching, my back actually gets higher. So when you're in the work, your back's not gonna be as high, but you're using your spinal muscles. Reach, down, stretch, and glide into it. Few more. Arms lift, palms to the ground, pull back through the lats. Lift the chest. Head stays forward, reach overhead, palms come down, lift, and lower, final one. Arms, lats, shoulder blades pull down, heart lifts, eyes to the floor, reach, arms down, stretch, release. Amazing, guys. Time to do some planks. I love planks. So, we're gonna go regular palm plank. If you need to modify, you can totally go to a forearm, but you might not be able to do the same exact combination of this. So, you're gonna come down onto all fours. Okay. So, 
we're going to come down onto all fours. Band is staying around the wrists. We're going to find our plank. I want to see strength. So if you're tired, this isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to count. So you need to come down to your knees if you're not able to keep yourself really strong. Remember, like I said earlier, if you're doing something too hard for yourself, it's probably going to injure you more, than, more likely than help you. So modify as you need, okay? So otherwise, we're up in the plank. Pelvis will not move. We have a mimosa on our low back. It's got vuv in it, so keep your pelvis still. You're gonna tap your right hand out and in. Lift it off the floor, tap it out, bring it back in. So here's what I don't wanna see. Hips moving with you. I go really slow. Pull into the tension, return. Into the tension, return. Nice work, give me five on this side. Chest forward, heels back. One more. Bring it in. Going left, push the floor away from you with the right hand. Tap left, return. Now you might feel like one side is stronger than the other, and that's normal. Try to keep your butt level with your back. Nice job, lift through that low belly, just like you would if you were doing a crunch. Give me five more. Last three. Two. One. And bring it back. Okay, so we're gonna do a second set. If that was good for you, you're gonna stay right there. Otherwise, you know I'm gonna throw something crazy out. You're gonna lift your opposite leg up. Yep, you heard me. So, come into your plank. Toes tucked. Woo, getting sweaty. So we're gonna practice with the right hand first. That means your left leg's gonna lift. So lift your left leg, push through the foot, heel flex. Abs in and up. We're gonna tap out to the right, back in. Out to the right, back in. Remember, modification on the knees. Good job. Good, keep that left leg strong. Fire the leg. Four, three, two, one. We're switching. Left foot down, right leg lifts. Strong leg like you're pushing into the wall behind you with that right foot. Tap out, in. Now don't forget about your mimosa, right? It's still on your back. Nice job, guys. Give me five more. This is the end. Stick with me. Stretching in three, two, one. And take it down. Awesome, you killed that. Okay, so we're gonna open up the shoulders a little bit. This can be kind of intense too if you're really tight in your shoulders. So, you know, don't push yourself. You wanna stay at like an 85% of discomfort, right? Sometimes stretches are a little uncomfortable. So, legs out in front of you. Your band's gonna go around your wrist but behind your back. And we're gonna start with the palms facing the ceiling. This is the less intense version. So if this is already feeling tight, this is where you're gonna stay the whole time. So, I want you to sit up tall, broaden your chest. You're gonna pull in from your core, push your heels forward, and reach back through your fingertips. You're pushing that push through far bar back in space now. And then you're gonna dive forward with your chest and fold into it. Send the imaginary bar in your hands back. Pull your waist in, lift your heart up. So we're only curving in the pelvis not the thoracic. Dive forward, fold, hamstring stretch. One more, send that push through bar back. Send the tailbone to the heels, lift the chest over the toes. Tension in the band. Roll it up, dive forward and fold. And then sit up nice and tall. If you feel open, palms to the ground. Heart up, shoulder blades draw together. So see this part of your shoulder? If you're here, you need to take a lesser version. It should be here. Doesn't mean it will be here with this positioning, but if you can, can't do it, go back to the palms facing back. So chest open, 
pull in from the abdominals, push back through the hands energetically, and now lift your heart, lengthen your neck, pull your chest forward, continue to push back through the arms. Curl through the pelvis, press back and open the chest, tension on the band. Dive it forward, crown of the head forward, fingertips back. Last one, we curl. Push back through the fingertips. Pull in through the abdominals. Roll it forward. Fold. And release. Reverse push through with the band. Wow, my heart feels so stretched open. I love it. So please let me know in the comments what your favorite move was. I love knowing what, got, what really like gets you in your body. That's so interesting to me. And my name is Lindsay. Don't forget to subscribe to Pilates On Demand. Let's do a nice quick shoulder stretch, taking it in the opposite direction. Right arm across the chest, keep it straight. You're gonna pull it in. Drop down through the shoulders, lift up. Release. Left arm across, pull it in. Drop it down. Good. Let's do a nice hip flexor stretch, yeah? So legs straight out in front of you. You're gonna take this right knee, bring it back so your knee is coming in line with your hip. Really tight, you bring it forward. So in line with the hip, if you're more flexible. Chest in line with the front leg. When you're ready, you walk it back and fold it down. Scoop your right chest underneath you. Lift your heart up. Oh, that feels good after the core work, yeah? Good, bring it up. Let's sweep this leg around. Place your right foot outside of your left leg. Wrap your left arm around the right leg. Right fingertips behind you, lift the spine. Rotate. Release. Good, take that right leg forward. I'm gonna show you from this side so you can see it. Right leg forward, left knee is turning behind you, 90 degree bend. Bring it further back if comfortable. Lean back on your hands if comfortable. Keep walking it back or you come to forearms. Good, chest should be in line with the front leg, not in line with the left knee. Oh, that feels so good. Okay, walk it in. Left foot outside the right leg. Wrap the left leg with the right hand. Use your arms, right? Give that a good squeeze. Sit in the left hip. Push out of the left hand and twist that spine open. Good, and release. Awesome work, you guys. Round of applause. Thanks for joining me. Again, my name's Lindsay. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this extra light band workout, and I will see you guys on the next one.